Glow Probers! Howdy, howdy! Welcome to a truly special episode of the greatest extraterrestrial comedy podcast hosted by two former MIBs that have the minerals to tell you that they're allegedly, truthfully, former MIBs. The minerals! The Um, grapefruits! Why is this a special episode, I hear you ask? Well, this is Greybeard's birthday. It's not, I don't have a birthday. But before we start... I'm going to get a little serious. Now, behind the scenes here at Extraterrestrial Towers, I work a lot. And I mean a lot. Like 60 to 70 hours all in. So there are some times where I'm unable to get an edit done on time. So sometimes you will hear the sultry hosting sounds of Grey Nuts twice in a row. So to show my appreciation for all the shit he does behind the scenes and the admin stuff, which allows me to be the twat I am most of the time, nice and carefree. Happy birthday, Grey Nuts, you old bastard. Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bottle of rum, son. <laughs> I am loaded with rum. <laughs> Both physically and literally. I have no idea what rums you did have and didn't have. Haven't and I was got like, that. That looks like a cool bottle. <laughs> I never, ever buy that one because my dad drinks that one. And so that's what I tend to have if I go to theirs. Oh, okay. So now I've got my now own. you've got your own. <laughs> for, 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 for thank you. <laughs> but I, I'm under no illusions here. You're, you're being nice at the start. You're about to tear shit <laughs> in my hole. I don't know how that works, but it... It's going to happen. But truly, son, thank you. And now that all the niceties are out of the way, back to our very special regular broadcast. It's a birthday, so that means something over here at Extraterrestrial Towers. It means that for the duration of this episode, I'm going to try my hardest by giving Grey Nuts the choice that I (laughs) never had. (laughs) To get him Um. fucked up. Oh, no. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm expecting payback tenfold, penfold next year. Uh, Dilemma. Dilemma. We were quite nice on your birthday last year, and we had a whale of a time. And now I like having a whale of a time, but I also like revenge. You're you're giving me a difficult decision here. (laughs) Now, I was going to do similar to what we done last year. Mm Mm-hmm. But totally forgot when I went to uh, the supermarket. (laughs) (laughs) I just picked these two bottles of proper alcohol up. And then I was like, shit, I totally forgot. So I went to the shop around the corner from yours. And I was like, oh, they're not going to have anything. They had individual cans, but they were like fucking £2.50 a pop. Weren't paying that. (laughs) So Shit's expensive. (laughs) I got us a bottle of uh, Could get a can of Monster for that. Can of is cheaper. So, uh, yeah, that's why we've got shots today. Uh, that's why we've got tequila today. And if uh, our listeners have memories and have listened to our previous birthday episodes, they will know very well that tequila is the one drink I quite struggle with. It's a nice tequila, though. For you, <laughs> this is a me thing. I struggle with tequila. <laughs> me. Sounds like a you problem. Yep. I'm in for it. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar, each week we take it in turns to bring a case to the table. The co-host generally has no idea what that case is about. The smooth, whiskey-filled voice you've heard most so far is that of your gummy-thick host today, (laughs) Grammy (laughs) Moonwalker. Joining me, as always, is the tallest man in existence, Kevin the Grey, a.k.a. Tall boy John. Nobody calls me that. AKA Kevy the Tall. Also don't call AKA me that. Little John. More likely. AKA Cloud Man. <laughs> I had to send him an email two hours ago because that's how long it would take him to get down to my level. Sultan Kosan ain't got shit on him. That's actually just because I'm getting old and it takes me that long to bend down. From the clouds. Not because I'm high. From the clouds. You want to get hair? Now that it's your birthday, Kev, and I swear I've said that more today than I ever have in a single year, (laughs) 
We are going to be covering two of your favorite subjects in a single episode. History and ghosts. Oh, educational and spooky in one dose, eh? Are we covering the history of ghost? Are we going to get Patrick Swayze up in this biatch? Maybe. Are we going to do some clay modeling? Right. Before we start, shot. I'm taking one as well. This okay. is literally a starter shot. Apologies for the sounds you hear in the background. I'm set up a little bit far away from the shots here, so I've got to lead in to get them. Cheers, son. Oh, it's pink. Sink the pink, son. <laughs> oh, it's like dirty milkshake. <sighs> oh, yeah. See, now one isn't so bad, but they're going to stack up pretty quickly. Maybe. Maybe not. Sooner or later, someone's going to down the brown. <laughs> is that Abraham Lincoln? That is Abraham Lincoln. We're starting with a photo of a... Wait, well, is that a photo or is that an old school picture? It looks like an old, old, old photo of Abraham Lincoln. It is an old, old photo of Abraham Lincoln. Correct. You see, in 1861 to 1865, Abraham Lincoln... Mm -hmm. This man, the 16th president. Yeah. Now, that may not be news to our American listeners, but over here, we're really not taught fuck all about American history. But President Abe was big in the game. <laughs> he played a vital role in beginning the process that led to the end of slavery in the US. Indeed, he did. This prez was known for his speeches grandiose and inspiring unfortunately he is also known for his death which was somewhat untimely ah yes yes shot in the back of the head on april 14th 1865 by john wilkes booth can't trust a john however you can trust abe so question time gray nuts ah shit i'm here to give you the choice that i never had <laughs> You can answer a history question or you can take a shot. Okay. Do I get to hear the question before I decide or? Nope. You make the choice. Okay. I'm going to start out going for the question. If I get it wrong, do I have to do a shot? I'm not going to tell you anything until you make your decision. Okay. I'm. Um as you've said, we don't get to cover much about American history in the British education system, unfortunately. So I'm going to risk it all and answer the question and see what happens. Okay. Because I feel like if I take a shot, that's pretty straightforward. I know what's happening. <laughs> You're taking I'm, a shot. I'm going <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Question one. What nickname was given to what? Abraham Lincoln? Honest Abe? Correct. Was it? It was. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now you get to do a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happens if I get it wrong? I will also do a shot. If I, I mean get it... now. Oh, now. because I get it right, we both do one. Yes. If I get it wrong, only I do one. I will not explain the rules fully. Oh, <laughs> Gosh, damn. But you got it right, so you do a shot, I do a shot. Okay. Have some lovely, like, pause music while I'm <laughs> pouring the shots. You're probably not going to cut that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Abraham Lincoln died the following day at 7.22. Although this was untimely and a shock to the nation, was it something that Abe was prepared for? You see, in 1860, President Abe saw his own death. He had the power of the sight. He had the vision. If he saw his own death, why didn't he make steps to prevent it? I'm not 100% sure he saw exactly how he would die. So he saw that he was going to die, but he perhaps didn't see where or when. Precisely. He just... 
Well, even so, if he saw the how. Didn't see the how. Then how does he know he's dying? He might have been napping. He's dead. <laughs> he doesn't know that. He might be honest, Abe, but he... <laughs> what if he saw his uh, funeral? Then he could have faked his own death. What if he saw his death? so honest now, is he? Uh, I don't really want to shit talk a uh, well-beloved president, but this man weren't being honest. <laughs> Faked it. After his election, he was looking in a mirror at home when he noticed something in the reflection. Is this before or after he died? Before. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost Abe saw himself in the mirror. He's like, well, at least I'm not a vampire. Now, what he saw wasn't a smudge or something in the background. He saw himself. Now, this is nothing. He's looking in a mirror. I can tell exactly what you're thinking, Grey Chin. Mm -hmm. But this was a double image of himself. Oh, evil twin. His real reflection was staring back at him. But there was a pale version of himself staring back too. Abe told his wife, and although she never saw it for herself, she believed that this was a sign. A sign that he would complete his first term as president and would become president again, but wouldn't survive it. Now this is where I give you the choice that I never had. Will you answer the question, or will you drink? I feel like I've got to keep going with the questions, and I'm also still completely ecstatic that I got the first one right, because that was really a guess, a shot in the dark. I must have heard it without realising at some point, and knocked it out of the park without knowing. I thought that was quite simple. I thought everyone knew he was I know nothing age. about Abraham Lincoln other than that I've he just, was assassinated. I've just watched a lot of films and stuff. To I haven't. <laughs> it's true. I'm ignorant. I'm a film nut. I sit in the dark. <laughs> so, going for the question? For now. According to Surprising History Facts for Kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm definitely getting this one wrong. Who allegedly, truthfully, took the first piss on the moon? What? That's nothing to do with Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Never said it had anything to do with Abraham Lincoln. Buzz Aldrin. Correct. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius, son. I'm a freaking genius. Does that mean we both do shots again? That means we both do two shots. What? Uh -oh, I've got to end the streak. <laughs> Sink the pink, son. Woo! Turned yes. into a woo girl already. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Free shot scene. Gravel has lost his mind. <laughs> what happens when you don't touch alcohol for a month? I feel like it's curdling inside me. <laughs> <sighs> Again, that was an utter guess. <laughs> a pure shot in the dark. <laughs> My kill death ratio is phenomenal at the moment. I should retire. 100% for your uh, answers here. Also, I've noticed you haven't uh, played the poor music. Oh, sorry. It's, it's slightly changed up because I've become a woo girl. <laughs> Abraham's wife, believing that this was a sign. Oh, we didn't even talk about that, uh, did we? Okay, go she ahead. So... Oh, well, I, didn't, I don't know. I've got much to say, to be <laughs> honest. She's, so he's told her he's seen two versions of himself in the mirror. She's putting quite a lot together there to come up with the conclusion that he's going to complete a term in office, going to get a second term, but won't survive it. How has she got that from someone telling her that they've seen two versions of himself in a mirror? Now, his wife... She's got the power of sight. Believing that this was a sign was not unusual. Oh! For Mary was deep in the spiritual game. Unfortunately for Honest Abe, yeah. death would also follow him closely throughout his life. Not that closely if he had a long life. He lost his mother while he was just nine. Okay, pretty close. Then, as he was older, he lost his first love to typhoid fever. Was that a dog? And after his marriage to Mary later in life, they had four sons. Edward, Robert... Tad and Willie. Tad Willie? What sort of a name is Tad? What? 
That's not a name. You can't call a child Tad. Sorry to anyone called Tad out there. That's a nickname at best. <laughs> it's like Chad, though, isn't it? Tadpole. Like some of these American names that you would definitely only hear in America. Well, Ed died at the age of four. Poor bastard. Then Willie died during Abe's first term as president. Tad would pass away at 18. Gosh, damn. And Robert was the only one that would become an adult by American age. Because I don't think you're classed as an adult until you're 21. Hmm. Whereas here, it's 18. Yeah. So Abe also lost his father in this same year. Sorry, in this same time. And all of this would be enough to break anyone. Abe would often be found weeping by the crypt of his son, Willie. Why only Willie? I do not know. It doesn't mention how old uh, Willie was when he died. So, yeah, I suppose if Willie died during the first term as president, that's when Abe was most in the public eye, perhaps, so people were more aware as to what he was doing then. Could be that he wasn't around as much and then mm. felt that loss more because of it. Who knows? So Mary thought that it would be a good idea to try to contact their sons from beyond the grave. That's never a good idea. This was attempted by conducting seances. Seances. <laughs> oh, I'm a single ghost. <laughs> <coughs> I've killed Granville. I'm now a single ghost. <laughs> you like it? Then you should have put a ring on it. I can't, it goes through you. Right, they conducted seances in the White House. The results? As you would expect. It's alleged that Abe only attended two of these seances. What do you mean the results are as you'd expect? Or do you mean as you'd expect he only attended a couple? That nothing happened. But that's not as I was expecting. I was expecting the shit to go down. No. I was thinking we've got a whole train of... We've got a soul train of ghosts here. Shit did not go down. Yet. It was like a lead balloon. Nothing. Well, that technically would have gone down, wouldn't it? Wouldn't have gone up. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit went up. <laughs> Imagine sitting on the toilet and that happened. Now, I have no idea about American history, so I have no idea if these accounts I'm about to mention are in order. However, I do believe this is the first. Calvin Coolidge was the 30th president. His wife, Grace, is the first reported individual to have seen the ghost of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> yeah. We're going to plow down in spooky town, sons and daughters and everyone not included within those labels. Grace says that she saw him stood at the window of the Oval Office, hands clasped behind his back, looking out over the Potomac. I've got no idea what the fuck that is. The garden? I'm assuming so. I don't know what she did at that point, but I'd have shit. <laughs> I mean, you'd have moved off us. We're going back to New York, folks. During the Roosevelt presidency... Lincoln's ghost was seen quite often, and one of these was when Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands was staying as a guest. As she lay there in bed, there was a knock at the door. She got up, walked over to the door, and opened it. There, in all his top-hatted glory, was Abraham Lincoln. He's a polite old chap, isn't he? <laughs> and you've put a um, phenomenal 3D cartoon of Abe in the research notes. Yeah, we have indeed. He's a hairy man. Very, very tidy beard on Mr. Abe. Well groomed. I mean, it's not often you hear of ghosts having the manners and decency to knock and wait. Usually you just sort of look and catch a glimpse out the corner of your eye and they're there doing whatever the hell they're doing, not giving a damn. This ghost is... Knocking, he's waiting, he's not stepping in, he's not making noise, he's not killing people. Hold on. He's being a friendly neighbourhood ape. What is he doing? Just checking in. Why is he appearing? Making sure everyone's okay. Well, ghosts generally have unfinished business. What business is Abe trying to conduct? 
what if his unfinished business is the fact that he doesn't know he's dead? Always trying to finish his term as president. Wasn't he a monster slayer or a vampire slayer or something? <laughs> Only in the movies. Well, he, he still. <laughs> well, <laughs> aren't movies based on fact? <laughs> exactly. I've heard the rumours. I know what Abe was about. I'm now suspicious of this queen. Why was he appearing to her? He's like, <laughs> I'm watching you. I am now giving you the choice <sighs> that I never had. Will you drink or answer two questions? Let's do the questions because I want to see what happens You're when on I a get one wrong. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> what did Queen Wilhelmina do next? A. Shit her pants. B. Scream so loud she woke everyone up. C. Pass out. Or D. All the above. All the above? Yeah. Shit her pants, scream so loud, yeah. woke everyone up and pass out. Mm-hmm. Your answer is D, all the above. That's my answer, correct? Kevin. Oh, no. Would you like to do three shots, please? I wouldn't. And I'm just going to say, if that's wrong, my gut was telling me just pass out, but... You should have trusted your <laughs> gut. <laughs> <laughs> But then you threw in all of the above as a third, a fourth option even, because I can count. All right, so I'm doing three shots and I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Fucking eye twitch. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I'm not a fan of tequila. Oh, look at that. Oh, nearly... <laughs> He was celebrating before he'd finished pouring it, thinking he'd got it all in the glass. And then he missed. <laughs> After celebrating, he spat it all over the tray. Oh, there's only two drips as well. <laughs> all right, twitchy. <laughs> Why are they getting stronger? Bigger, faster, hurt, and stronger. Are they getting stronger or are you getting weaker? Both. Now do a shot. <laughs> Question number two. Whoa! Forgot. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Can you name for me, please? Absolutely not. Two of the three titular stars of the movie Ghost. <laughs> Patrick Swayze are you, are you locking that in? The movie Ghost? Yes Yes, Patrick Swayze mm -hmm. uh, Who's the lady? There's multiple ladies in the film Whoopi Goldberg Kevin Yes I would like you To do three shots I will also do three shots. I'm confused about the rules. Are the shots not going down in number? It's not that they're not going down. I thought doing more than three in a row would be harsh. So I stopped you at three. Oh. Well, they're not going so down then, no, are they? <laughs> at no point will you be doing more than three in a row, apart from now. <laughs> Six. <laughs> yeah, you say no point we've been doing more than three in a row just done five about to do a sixth <laughs> oh you son of a gum i meant in terms of getting a question wrong so at no point will i say kev do four shots i don't feel so good <laughs> I've got an alcohol milkshake <laughs> swirling in my tummy. Now, as I said before, the answer to what she did next was C. My tum tum don't know if it's a children's birthday party or I'm about to go for a night out. Both. <laughs> when Queen Wilhelmina came to, she was lying on the floor and Ghost Abe was gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
What pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still curious about what Abe's purpose is here. What is Abe trying to achieve? Is he trying to give them a warning? Like, you don't just appear as a ghost just to appear, do you? There's got to be some sort of reason behind it. Things don't just happen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this time they did. Milky, milky. Now, Lady Bird Johnson has said that she never saw the ghost of old Abe. But she fully believes that she felt his presence. It was one spring evening as she sat watching a TV programme which happened to be talking about Abe's death. And during the show, she noticed a plaque over the fireplace. She'd been in that room plenty of times before, but had never noticed this plaque. The plaque mentioned Abe's importance in that room in some way. And a coldness swept through the room, bringing a sense of something otherworldly. It's a weird plaque. Here is also some photographic evidence for you, Greybeard, about the ghost of Abe. What is this? Who's that photo of? That is a photo of Abraham Lincoln and Mary Lincoln. Remind me who Mary was? His wife. Mary looks a fair bit older than Abe. This was hey. after his <laughs> well done, death, Mary. remember? But was it, though? Is that Ghost, not... Abe. This could be a photo that was taken during life, just the light was all funny. It's clearly a ghost. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty good photo. It appears to show Mary sat down with a wonderful cloak and hat on, almost like a Death Eater, and <laughs> Abe stood behind her with his hands on her shoulders, very faint, Almost like he's in a white angelic robe himself, or a trench coat, still white. Lost his sideies though. That where are his sideies? People are just assuming that's Abe. That's not even Abe, is it? I've just realised. You look at the face. That's not Abe's face. He hasn't got a big beard. He hasn't got sideies. Oh, I better shave. Shave your ham, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, this person in the photo, not the man the the female looks a bit like that um witch we covered during the second world war who was prosecuted for witchcraft I'm not the lady who was eating all the paper and pretending it was ectoplasm do you remember ah uh, yes i do yeah it looks a little bit like her yeah. i mean it's not because she's a little bit slimmer than her with respect but you could be I similar facial were. features <laughs> so now i'm wondering whether mary lincoln is the witch <laughs> <laughs> this is the secret within the secret lincoln is trying to warn people about mary who traded lincoln's soul for power power from the devil i gotta be honest the shots are throwing my brain a little bit i'm just trying to catch up the plaque i was going to ask about the plaque it mentioned abe's importance in that room in some way you said mm -hmm. what way how was Abe important, did he like bang in that room? Is that where in, Tad was conceived? In some way. Did he write some sort of declaration in that room? In some way. Not in all ways. Not in every way. <laughs> Just in some way. Do you know what way? Some way. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the plaque? No. I feel like if Lincoln is appearing in this room repeatedly... In some way. We need to understand Lincoln's significance in this room. In some way. What happened in this room? Is this where his body was brought after his death for some weird reason? We've mentioned or we've theorised before about whether ghosts go to their place of most significance after they pass. What did Lincoln do in this room? I ask you, Mr. Moonwalker, what did he do? I'm telling you that it was something important. <laughs> but you're not, though, are you? In some way. <laughs> you're telling me he did something. Yeah. That doesn't mean it was important or not important. It was something important. In some way. <laughs> did he shave off his side he's a beard and have a portrait done with Mary Lincoln? In some way. Is this where he bought his really nice white trench coat? In some way. I'm not getting anything here, am I? <laughs> In no way. 
Uh, at least there ain't a freaking question. Another account during the Roosevelt era was of a valet running screaming from the White House that he'd seen Lincoln's ghost. But one that would intrigue us over here on these shores is the one that gives Kev the choice <laughs> that I never had. So there is a question. I also realised that there's two opportunities for you to do six shots here. Uh... But, but... There is also the opportunity for me to do six, you know. Yeah, but I'm silver still, lining. I'm still doing them. Silver lining. I've gone past the point where it's funny for us both to be doing them. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just okay, dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> now, are you going to take a drink, or are you going to answer a question? So, when you say take a drink, that's a drink. If you choose to do that instead of a question. No, I'm going to do the shot. So you're going to ask the question? No, answer I'm, the question. I'm choosing the shot on this occasion. Take the shot. Pussy. Why am I a pussy? I don't want to do three shots. <laughs> now, are you going to answer the second question that I had, or are you going to take the shot? Out of curiosity, let's do the question. What film does this sound actually come from? <laughs> the Grudge. <laughs> so tempting. So very tempting. <laughs> you, you got me over a barrel there. <laughs> I'm going to redact that from future episodes. <laughs> you just poured that on the desk. Oh, sake. Free? Yeah. So if I choose to do the shot, I get one. If I answer the question, I get three. I also have to do shots if you get it right. Yeah, but... That's the risk. Uh... <laughs> it's a risk to me, not you. But I get screwed over <laughs> for the yes, chance of... it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> How did you think this was going to go? Better. I haven't done this many shots since I was 21. Just... I'm not 21 yet, so I haven't done this many shots since I was 18. <laughs> Yeah, you are. I can remember what you were doing on your 21st birthday. <laughs> Glad someone can. <laughs> Trying to get into a club when you couldn't barely stand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, aren't you a lucky bastard? Oh, thank God. There's only one shot left. Oh, we've just done a whole bottle of tequila in like 20 minutes. Yeah, we have. <laughs> So the the original or the first question was yeah, Ringu and Juan are the original name original names of two what of oh, what two that. films? But I'd have had to do six shots rather than four, so I feel like <laughs> that's actually a better alternative. But I would have had to do six as well. Yeah, but I'd have had to do another two, and that's uh, that's, that's a lot of tequila, man. <laughs> wow, that sound is absolutely from the ring. <laughs> so going back to what would intrigue us on this side of the pond Prime Minister Winston Churchill on a stay at the White House was taking a long hot soak in the bath with a scotch and cigar when he was done he climbed out of the tub and walked into his bedroom with nothing but cigar in mouth to his amazement Abraham Lincoln was stood by the fireplace, leaning on the mantel. Was he also naked? Churchill took the cigar out of his mouth, tapped the ash off and said, Snake party! Good morning, Mr. President. You seem to have me at a disadvantage. I cannot do a Winston Churchill impression, so that's what you get. <laughs> I'll work with it. Lincoln smiled and then disappeared. So basically, Lincoln has... Turned up here to look at Churchill naked just for shits and giggles. Mm -hmm. Ah, you've got a picture of uh, a caricature of Churchill in his undercrackers with a cigar in his mouth. That's pretty awful, isn't yes. it? Yes. So you will be very pleased to hear what I had to type into Google <laughs> <laughs> when researching this. Uh, did you see some awful things? Um, the phrase that i put into google mm -hmm. because 
me being me, wanted to surprise you with a picture of Winston Churchill's just a cartoon version. Yeah. Of I'm surprised you didn't go worse, but yeah. Churchill naked. Mm-hmm. Proper showing you his ass and then cigar in mouth. <laughs> his spread ass. So <laughs> I typed in Winston Churchill naked. <laughs> Preface with cartoon. <laughs> but that's literally the best of them that I got. It, it could have been much, much worse. Um, Churchill, I don't know much about with his views on the paranormal. Did this account come directly from Churchill or like a an aide? It's an alleged story. Okay. I'm struggling to understand Lincoln's purpose. He's just appearing to people of power and then disappearing. He's not really doing anything. I honestly like, thought you were about to say I'm struggling to understand life at the moment <laughs> following these shots. What's he doing? What's his end game? <laughs> He's just appearing to people, looking at their winkies and buggering off or looking at their boobies and then buggering off. Okay. No, no, I don't have anything. I was just going to say I like purpose. Usually, like, you sink your teeth into a case and you're thinking towards an end goal. Like, what's the ghost trying to achieve? Is there something that happened before they died? They're trying to get the word out, explain their death. Do they not realise they're dead? Lincoln's just turning up looking at dicks. And like people in their nightgowns and whatnot. He's just chilling. Living his best ghost life. Entertaining himself. Well, you'd he think a man say? well, you'd think a man of that standing might try and achieve something in, in death. Maybe it's like there's fuck all for you to do here. I did enough in life. Now <laughs> I'm just gonna look at some willies. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how big is Churchill's todger? <laughs> we go with Lincoln. <laughs> Four score. <laughs> Add seven dicks together. So this is the part of the probe where we turn to science and scepticism. There's no real science to the accounts we've heard, but we do have some science in regards to the photo of Abe and Mary. I say science... It's more of science and scepticism. The photo has been dismissed by experts as being a double exposure. What what are you doing? Why did you message me? I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) 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 Why? You're an asshole, Chucker. You were saying? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I completely derailed you. Uh, the photo was dismissed by experts as being a double exposure. That's Called it. it. You sent me a picture of fucking Chaka <laughs> exposing himself. <sighs> So we've got basically no evidence. (laughs) So to summarise, we have the case of Lincoln's ghost. Abe was killed by John Wilkes Booth, but it may have been known to him that he wasn't going to to survive his second term. This was due to him seeing two of himself in the mirror, and his wife believed that this was a sign. No, sugar. After his death, there were lots of reports since that people have seen Lincoln's ghost within the White House. We had Lincoln standing in the Oval Office, the presence of Lincoln in a room, a room of somewhat importance. (laughs) (laughs) Explain it, please. Lincoln knocking on the door of Queen Wilhelmina's bedroom and scaring her so much when she saw the ghostly figure that she passed out after shitting herself and screaming we took a look at photographic evidence of Mary and Abe after he died and then we heard Churchill be cool as a fucking cucumber when he saw Lincoln's ghost that's a good point actually he handled that didn't he he was like yeah this is fine Mm -hmm. you've caught me a disadvantage sir yeah it's all right though let's let's sit down and have a chat with my wang hanging out my wang wang swinging in the wind it's all right though (laughs) let me just have this cigar so chinips, grey chinips, 
wo am Arsch genießen. Is will you take the question? Well, I thought you were going to ask me to conclude. Because I am now giving you the choice that I never had. As the bottle is done, and the bottle is done, I'm going to choose the question. Okay. A long, if you get it wrong, even if you get it right, it doesn't fucking matter. You're going to take the one shot that's left, and then a massive gulp of your rum. Fine. And I will say when a massive gulp is a massive gulp. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do. So, who is the tallest person in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> Correct. You freaking asshole. <laughs> you don't even need to tell me to sink the pink. <laughs> oh. I'll join you. <laughs> Sinking the pink together, son. Not only am I on the brown, <coughs> I quite literally just downed, downed the brown. <laughs> Figuratively, <laughs> literally, psychologically, <laughs> sexually. Emotionally, mainly emotionally, the brown is downed, my friends. So, Greybeard, is this story of Honest Abe's ghost oh. dishonest? Yeah, I'm not saying it's spookies. There's just no evidence. <laughs> <laughs> this is accounts that people have kind of shared through time, and they've probably grown and become more and more elaborate, but... There's no evidence as to those stories starting anywhere factual. Yes. I agree with you wholeheartedly there. Um, the picture does make for a very good picture, and it has been, like, circulating for a while. Yeah, but yeah. But, yeah, it's just a case of double exposure. I mean, I kind of half-cocked that when we were looking at it, and I've got no experience in photography whatsoever. So yeah, this is not ghosties. Dishonest Abe. Ghost. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the birthday of Kevin the Tall. You heard him say it himself. He is the tallest man in the world. You can find us across all our socials. Facebook, Instagram and X, formerly known as Oh no, it At But It Was Aliens. Our Facebook group is Extraterrestrial Towers, and you can also find bonus episodes where we discuss more ghostly apparitions, psychic dogs, reincarnations, pirates, and Rasputin's dick. Yar. As always, I have been Moonwalker, and he is the tallest person in the world. Happy birthday, you old bastard. So I'm, I'm tall and old. Yes. Hash tag. Uh...